Hey. And it looks like T. Davis is going to get it first. He'll start its drive at the 25. This is going to be a big game, Scott. And last night, I got to talk to T. Davis a little bit. And you got to understand, this was a young man who was playing all the way back in Madden 08, Madden 07. His dad, Jeffrey, used to take him to tournament after tournament. They traveled across the country from Arizona, drove to Ohio, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, New York, Jersey. This was his dad supporting his son. And unfortunately for T. Davis, he hit a point in his life where he was suffering from Lyme disease, which is a very serious disease. He had to overcome that for a few years. And this is his first time back in competition of Madden and it's such a big deal for him so you got to think he said his family back at home watching seeing him back on the main stage trying to get back to where he needs to be it's a very emotional moment for him it's an emotional moment for his family that was there by his side the entire time and this is going to be a big game for this young man making his comeback on the competitive Madden scene getting a chance to test himself against one of the very best in young Kiv. Young Kim representing that 8-1-8. And T. Davis will get to the 29-yard line. Going to be a second at six. You got those 8-1-8 boys. It's Turbo Jeff, Serious Mo, Young Kiv, Crush, and Joe Rice. Bring up a second at six here. Vic looking, and he'll be sacked. Gonna push him all the way back to a third and 11. This is big. Opening drive in the bunch. Cooper over to the right. Check down. Here we I go. You, I tell you what, Skim, I mean, it's it's bunch on bunch right here. Oh, yeah, early fourth down. So far, Kibbs' defense looking amazing. Everything has been guarded. Hey, going to be big right hey, here for T. Hey, Davis. Hey, he said he was up hey, all hey, night when I was talking to him. He stayed up till about 3 in the morning watching hey, tape hey, on Kibbs. Hey, he says he was going to be confident in his offense. Well, it'll do hey, wonders hey, for his confidence hey, if he can keep this ball moving, but a stop might be detrimental. Was that it's close. Point. He didn't get it. It's he close. Get it. He did not get it. Did not get it. Wow. Kiv's going to have the ball at the 35-yard line. Great field position again. And you can't give a guy like the Kiva great field position. Yeah, the, the route was open. I mean, I know I've been talking about the high point on these hitches, but that was the time not the high point because he did it. He gets wrapped up in an animation where he can't really fight for a first down. If he throws it normal, he could have turned up the field and possibly picked up a first down. That's a, that's a good point, Skim. You, even though you want to go to that high ball and it just becomes muscle memory, you always have to understand the situation. And I think that's what makes you one of the best Madden players in the world. Yeah, sometimes you get a habit of throwing that same exact route, always having a high point. But sometimes you don't need to throw a high point on every one of those hitches. See, T. Davis, he's making his formation subs in this nickel double A gap. He actually runs the Indianapolis Colts defensive playbook, the only hey, one go. in the entire Eagle, tournament running Eagle, that. Eagle. And he said it, a big part of it is because of this nickel double A gap, which is a different look than most of these competitors are used to seeing. Kim's first play of the game. He's going to swing it to the outside. Can't get the truck. Smart by Kiv. Check down there. He takes it. Let's see if he continues to take it on this first drive just to fill out the coverage and look at the coverage on the defense while he's hitting down his check down. You're looking at the game from T. Davis's perspective on the defensive side of the ball. You see those deep blues. Is that a deep tackle and a hard flat on the right side? Good luck. Defense. Oh, but the Vickens has all day, and he's on his horse. The Red Sea parts down to the 19. Real quick, let me give you guys the playbooks. He got young Kiv running the New England Patriots offense and that multiple defense. We got our guy T. Davis rocking the West Coast offense, and like I said, the Indianapolis Colts defensive playbook. Inside the red zone now. Kiv. Low point. Oh! He hung on. And they're going to put him at the half yard line. It'll be first and goal from there. Kiv's offense is looking unstoppable again to start this day. It looked unreal yesterday for suspect, and it looks like he hasn't missed a beat. And remember, Kiv's already got a stop in this game. If he can get the ball at halftime, get the stop, you get the ball at halftime, and be the first to score a touchdown, 
I would love to see the percentages of how often you win a game when that happens. I'm pretty sure they're heavily. Really uh, high. It's got to be really high, Scott. So second and goal now. We'll mark it at the one. Maybe lost half a yard there. See if he can get moving upfield here and break the plane. Another fullback dive. Close. Oh, Can't fight. hold the door. Touchdown, Kiv. Carries him in the end zone. That's Todd Gurley. I believe that's a power-up version that they power up to about an 87 overall. But then they get that sprinter cam on them that gives them a boost in speed. Skimbo, if you're in this tournament, 32, are you are you rocking this Vic? Oh, of course. Oh, you have to rock this. It's almost bit. not even a choice, right? I know. I know a lot of folks in the chat are like, "Oh, it's Vic again." Even but when it's you, that overpowered. Yeah. Even when you look at the last game with Blocky and Jay Wall, Jay Wall's defense kept pinching his line for some reason, letting him roll out, and you see the fullback dive here with Gurley for a touchdown. But Vic just outside the pocket, running around. Even uh, Kiv on this drive, just the difference in yards he gets is unbelievable. Remember, 24 out of the 32 competitors in this event. Rocking with Mike Vick at the helm. <gasps> oh, these sheds he's getting are unbelievable. They are fighting right They're now. They're strafing. He's watching intently because he'll face the winner of this matchup. He's back there in the players' lounge. There you go. <laughs> Show those pearlies. And Curly just can't get away. This, this feels like a big moment right here for T. Davis on third and 11. I feel T. Davis is really uncomfortable right here. I haven't seen him run that route combination ever since I've been watching him play. Oh, you got to figure out this defense if you're T. Davis. It's got, and like I said, Skim, I talked to him last night. He said he was up all night watching the tape on Kiv. You would expect him to come out here prolific, but clearly having trouble as he gets him sacked again. There's Allen Page, the legend, gets in there, forces a fourth down. Yeah, this defense right now, all he's manning up everyone. There's honestly no deep blues on the field. He's cross manning and leaving cloud flats on the outside. There was a player I played early, early in the year to do, to do that. You might know his name. It was Volterax. Yeah, that's a very good defensive scheme. It's a cover zero look, but you got zone support on those outside sidelines. What we've seen be able to attack that skim is those seam streaks that get behind that man coverage. Walter Axe was the men 18 champion for the Cardinals. T. Davis looking for this in route. No, fourth and 16. He big. Is. He's got him. And we'll haul it in. That's Julio near midfield and plus territory at the 49. That was huge. Tyler Davis from Lynn, Massachusetts, fourth and 16, going up against one of the best players in the world. Steps up in that pocket and throws a laser. For the first time, Kiv tried to mix up his defense. He had zones on the field. He manned up no one, and he gives up the only passing play, really, of the game. Why switch it up, Mike? Why oh. switch it up when it's working? I, I, I heard him grunt from here. I'm thinking he's thinking the same thing. Vic. There's the man coverage. T. Davis looking, finding, there's Julio. Nice. And the former man from Alabama gets down to the 42. And that's what I like about that, those cloud, flats, those cloud flats on the outside. You see Kiv able to run with that crossing route and then eventually pass it off to that cloud flat who's there to make the tackle. Let's see, he's been laughing for him. Is this a money play he has for this defense? Nothing's open. Is he at Barry? Oh. It's too T. late. Davis you gotta throw trying it. to throw it away, and he will. Oh my gosh, did B have a step on him? It looked like he had a step, but then he stopped. You, you know how they'll stop yeah. in the middle of it? So it might have been a disaster had he let that one rip. Now he finds himself in a big third and four. Let's go, let's go. Double, double. I've seen a lot of wide receivers run, run a lot of routes right now. They got to be gas. His favors Kivs right now. His defense is unbelievable right now. Third and four from the 42. 18 seconds left in the first. This is the NFC West final. Who's going to face I.B. Strafen? Quick throw to Rice. Skim, I, I see him keeping the running back into block. Despite it's a four-man rush, kids usually controlling that nickel back. You think that's a good move or a bad one? Playing against this defense, I actually think it's a bad move because I, I, I know sometimes you can man them up and they will turn into a spy. There it is. Well, at the end of one, Young Kiv seven, T. Davis zero. But he's on a drive here. 
He stalled out on his opening drive, but here on his second drive, starting to maybe figure out this Kiv defense. First and 10 from the 35. Yeah, what well, he's figuring out is he hitting this drag in this spot before it gets to the cloud flat. Oh, the pressure got in. He had a touchdown on the post. But like I was saying, he's starting to figure out to hit these drags right before it gets to the cloud flat. Watch this post right here before it gets in. Oh, it was oh, about to be naked, Skim. I got to know who the heck is on this <laughs> defensive line for Kiv. They are shedding. So you got Bosa, you got Page. I'm sure we'll meet the rest of them before it's all said and done. Well, I'll tell you, T. Davis said this is the matchup he wanted. He said, you know what, G, I'm excited to be back. And this was the type of matchup I'm looking for because it gives me a chance to prove that I'm all the way back in old form. I can't say this enough. That's the second time Kiv has gone away from the man-up defense, tried to send some heat, and that is the second best play T. Davis has ran all game. I don't understand. I know you want to mix it up, but why? Your defense is unbelievable right now. Third and four. Ball at the 29-yard line with 4.05 to go in the half. T. Davis looking with Vic. Fine, sharp, and that's a first down. Oh, man, if you're T. Davis, you might want to take your time calling these plays. Your wide receivers have run a bunch of routes on this drive, but he's hurrying up to the to the line right here. Okay, second time we've seen this formation, I believe, maybe third. Hand it off to run. Todd Gurley, who will pick up two. On that defensive line, you got Allen Page, Geno Atkins, Joey Bosa, and then Jason Taylor. And they, they're getting some sheds from time to time. That, that I do know that that Geno Atkins is only powered up to an 80 overall. And the reason he does that is he needs to power him up to the point where he can put that sprinter chemistry on him so he can get to that tier three sprinter. And there's Vic. Steps and throws. Good pocket. T. Davis. Oh, T. Davis stepping up in that pocket so the line will hold on to their blocks just a little longer. That's a pro tip right there. T. Davis was fantastic in the movie Aquaman, but now he's got an opportunity to tie this thing up at seven apiece. <laughs> that was a great movie, honestly. He'll always be Cal Drago to me. <laughs> double, double, double. First and goal from the two. I'm... It's going to be tossed. kim has got no support on that outside. Oh, he goes full back time. Oh. <laughs> Reaching. For the end zone, but he'll be just shy. And here's the hurry up. Kiv is known to have unbelievable goal line defense every year. Base 24. Is he really going toss right here? Lion, lion, lion. I don't see any support on that outside. Sneak. Vic won't get in. Goodness, hurry up again. Oh, do you sneak again? Do you can you get a centimeter? Here's the thing, he has it all in his audibles. He has Time the, out, sneak, Kiv. the fullback dive, he has the toss. And that's what the audibles on the fly allow you to do, Skim, is you can make sure you have every play that you would want with you at that line of scrimmage, which is why he was so comfortable running the hurry up there. He had all the plays he needed. I understand why he hasn't tossed, but if there is a time, it is on third down. There's nobody on that outside. And he'll hand it to the oh, back. Biden. Second effort, and he's in. Touchdown, T. Davis. <laughs> wow. That fullback, who was that, Sharp at fullback? Yeah, he's got Shannon Sharp. Oh, my gosh. Fell right in for a touchdown. Oh, man, my dude, T. Davis. He said, I want to test myself against young Kiv. Get stopped early, lets up the touchdown. All of a sudden, you may be second-guessing yourself, but this is a man that's fought through adversity in the past, and as you can see, he had no problem fighting through adversity on that drive and ties up the ball game, and how will the Kiva respond? Is that out of bounds? Oh, bad I believe kick. so. That's going to put it out of the 40-yard line. You, you Look can't. at this again, though. Shannon Sharp banging around. Falls into the end zone. That was huge. Fight, Shannon. I can't lie. Kiv has honestly looked the best on offense out of anyone at this tournament. You just gave him a short field. You cannot do that if you're T-Day. Short field again. Remember, he took over at the 35. Oh! Last time. He made the pick! Oh, Rod Wilson! And look at the emotion by Tyler Davis! Oh, I used to see this all the time. RG, when I first started playing Madden, this guy was the guy with Mo. He gets sick. He couldn't play. Oh my gosh, this is the T. Davis I knew when I grew up. Yeah, this is the one we grew up watching, and he's back, and he's fighting. I'll tell you, those Massachusetts kids are gritty. 
We saw it from Turbo Jeff earlier today, and now we're seeing it from Tyler Davis. That's what you get with Kiv, though. You, I mean, with Michael Vick, you got the wheels, but every once in a while, he'll sail one. Oh, you're exactly right, Scott. We talked about earlier the low point, high point passes he throws are not always on target. Well, Strafen's loving every minute of it. When is he not loving every minute? He's one of the best guys in the back. He says hi to mom. Hey, he's mom. <laughs> he's always so positive. He's so willing to support his community members. A lot of love for that uh, young man right there. Headed off to Gurley. He'll spin. And they'll mark him down just shy of midfield at the 49. Third and three. And remember, if you're Kiv, there's, and Kiv won't hit the panic button. He's got so much experience. But there's no need to hit that panic button. You've already gotten a stop. You gave it back. The game's pretty much where it was supposed to be had it been even from the beginning. You still get the ball at half. You just got to make sure you lock up here, and you'll still have plenty of momentum. There's Shannon Sharp. Good check. 42, nice check down. Oh, good check down right there by T. Davis, but I know how Kiv is. Like I said, I've stolen his defense before. He has some of the best defense, and not a lot of people give, it cre give him credit for it. He's going to make these adjustments here pretty soon. Well, out of about 128 players that qualified for this tournament, he was in the top 10 in both run hey, and go. pass defense. Oh, I believe it. And hey, definitely hey. with his defense. Oh, he just went to nickel normal. Switches it up. He's been in, he likes the over G, he likes the nickel normal, and he likes that 4 3 odd. Inside zone to the right. I think. That's where there he's going. Is. Skip he Romo. Gets inside. Yeah, you see that nickel blitz, and you, you have it, and he's on the other side. It's hard to stop the run to the opposite side of the nickel blitz, and that's exactly what he saw. Very smart by T. Davis, and that's a really good pointer out there for those watching at home, Skim, because you know that nickel blitz is a very popular thing in the meta and weekend league. you got to run away from that nickel back. Vic! Speaking of running away, Vic is all the way down just outside the red zone. Just like we talked about in our progressive segment, you got to protect that quarterback, exactly what T. Davis does right there. Get Gets down, slides. Here we go. Play like a pro, all that stuff. Clock management. He's going to do it again, run to the other side. He's going to take this clock. This will be the last possession, and Kip only has one timeout. Couple turnovers in this ball game. Oh, false well, start. False start, aggressive. False, false start. start. That'll back him up to the 26-yard line. It'll be first and 15 with 34 oh, oh. seconds to go. Was that a 10-second runoff? I didn't see it. Ah, oh, probably not. We'll ask the chat. They're undefeated. It's possible. So there's the motion. They'll hand it off to Gurley. One guy to Gurley gets to the edge, but can't get by the last man to beat, and he'll use the timeout. <clears throat> Good stick work by Kiv. A lot of people right there want to uh, want to strafe up so they don't get spun. Instead, he didn't panic and hit the strafe button. Um, T. Davis was actually going to try to bounce outside. If he strafes up, that's a touchdown. Everyone says there was no runoff in chat. Second and nine. Scream! Big sack. Kiv uses the timeout. You, you think Kiv's serious about getting this ball back with 25 seconds and went trying to turn it into points? It would be like 20, 18 seconds by the time he gets the ball. When I talk about preparation and having that money play, there's no one better than that guy right there, young Kiv, that has the money play to get a bunch of yards in about 10 seconds or less. You would know, Mike. T. Davis representing the... Arizona Cardinals, young Kiv representing the Seattle Seahawks here in the NFC West. He's going to try to sling it right here. He doesn't want to run the ball. Kiv's blitzing. Kiv's going to try to sack him out of field goal range. Oh, that's a... Ooh. Dropped it. Big hit over the middle. That'll stop the clock with 22 seconds left in the half. And here comes the field goal unit. Nothing's guaranteed. He didn't kick it perfect. The 12 cap kicker. He's holding it. And he jumped. Well, I talked about Aquaman. Now we're having a discussion in chat. Drago, that's who RG's going with. I'm going with Aquaman. I'm going with Aquaman over C the a cow? A couple people in chat are saying Post Malone. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that, no. no. <laughs> if we tatted him up, maybe? No, 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 man. no Aquaman. No. <laughs> cow Drago, did you not watch Thrones? I don't. You're missing out. We got to get Skim on Game of Thrones. He's too busy playing Madden and winning games. Where do, where do you think Hold the Door came from? <laughs> I man? know. I heard. First and 10. 
bend the knee, all that kind of stuff. We got a lot of Game of Thrones reference. It's Kev, he has to throw it away, Kev. Kev. Oh, Dotrick, no fumble. We're going to go to the second half, boys. Yeah, T. Davis with a three-point lead. Dangerous moment. We also heard Joe Kim Noah in the chat. Chat, chat's just rocking and rolling right now. They are... They are really got to go into this final game. It is 10 to 7. Of course, young kid, they always say he gets the beaver. It's the beaver treatment with that head of lettuce. But two incredible players in man. A lot of people sleep on T. Davis. He's a, he's a long time comer. And if we look at these first half highlights, he's really come to play. Oh, yeah. Can't sleep on T. Davis. Obviously, well, the high point we talked about, but you can never sleep on him. He's been around for years, and he's showing it why right now he thinks he should be a favorite. And I'll tell you what, if you're T. Davis and you get stopped on your first possession and you're able to come, this was what started the comeback right there, that fourth and 16. That, that was a huge play. And you see Sharp fighting. But if you get stopped on your first possession and you're able to fight back like this and regain the lead against young kid, you got to be feeling good going. And here comes the half. biggest play of the game. Yixon. Kid has looked unstoppable this whole tournament and finally throws a pick. I don't think he played well in offense in that first game, to be honest with you. His stats didn't look great, but he got great field position. I think if T. Davis can minimize the turnovers, keep that clock moving, he's got a real chance to, to knock young Kib out of this tournament. Yeah, so this is where the chess match begins in the second half. T. Davis feels like he's starting to figure out this uh, defense. Kib's running. Kib goes to a nickel. He hasn't gone to that defense yet. Now here we go. The chess match is about to begun, begin, and I can't wait to see it. And, and don't forget, we're talking about how hungry T. Davis is for this win and how much it means to him. You best believe this means a lot to the young Kiva. He is on a mission to get that second belt. He wants to win this $100,000 so he can pass this man right here <laughs> in career earnings. So Ouch. you best believe if he's going to leave it all out on the line in this second half and Kiv leaving it all out on the line is going to be a handful for T. Davis to deal with. We should have a good second half here. So Kiv's going to get the ball. He's going to get it at the 25-yard line. Ten minutes to go. And as we said before, this is a $13,000 game of John Madden football. This is really his first bounce back drive. He had it at the end of the second quarter. Throws it to the corner route. Did he get his feet? He didn't get his feet. Oh. But this is his first bounce back drive. After throwing a pick, it'll be interesting to see how he responds right here, being down three. First time he's been down, I believe, all tournament. And he stays in this double A gap skin. You got to think, Kiv preparing for maybe the over G's, the nickel normals, the nickel 335s. Three, three you got to assume not much practice against the double A gap. Oh, yeah. Anytime you see something different, you got to learn how to play on the fly. Throw it again. This time he's got plenty of room, and Tyreek will get out of bounds at the 45. Yeah, that little Pat Sell, that's a pretty good little play. And remember, young Kiv, he's got his Mike Vick at 128 cap with both the conductor and the gunslinger abilities, and all three of his wide receivers in this bunch have that elite route chemistry as well. Oh, Vickens! Oh. He'll stumble his way to the 37. It'll be a second and three. That is the good thing about that Vic. He really does not fumble that much. I only think I've seen one fumble this whole tournament, and I believe it was the Figgy Ghost game. And he's a 98 overall, 128 cap skim. I mean, this is a serious investment they're making on him. Oh, no! Can't get his feet in bounds. Over through that, and here comes a third and three at the 37. <clears throat> the zone that T. Davis has over there is playing really good. That route is open, but Kiv has to hang on to the ball for a long time hey, for it to finally get open. And that's why two times he's thrown it, he's been out of bounds. And I'll tell you what, T. Davis did say he anticipated playing young Kiv, and he spent a lot of cap on his secondary. He has the full jail and ran. Oh! Nearly threw a pick, but instead it's a first down down at the 23. Wow. And that secondary he has out there, he has the best Jalen Ramsey, the best Kyle Fuller. He puts them at safety, and then he'll have Rod Woodson and Derwin James on the outside with a 90-speed D on in the slot. So he says if anyone has the secondary to trifle with Kiv, he feels it's his personnel. There's Todd Gurley, the former Bulldog. 
First base, you've seen, I think, Kiv run all day, and honestly, I feel like he missed a hole. Don't be surprised if he goes back to this base sometime soon. And I also told you who he has in the secondary, the users that T. Davis shuffles through is a 94 OVR Sean Taylor oh. and a 92 OVR Brian Dawkins. So he has goons everywhere out there. And Doesn't and matter! One-handed grab for Kiv! The youngster It's back on top! Oh, typical young Kiv. He has the best dots in the game, and he gets down toward the red zone, and he dots him up for a touchdown. How prolific is Shea Kivlin, a.k.a. Young Kiv from Edmonds, Washington. And he's going to hold this here. Has not kicked it perfectly, but he will go up four. And you got to remember what Young Kiv, this is a young man, not even counting this tournament and the money he's made in it already. This tournament aside, he's already made $178,000 playing Madden football over the last two years. Mm, that's a lot of money. You know, you know a little something about that. Let's take a look at it again. Oh my. That one hand animation and Randy Moss. I mean the success rate on that. Oh, that Moss is something else. Here comes that nickel blitz on the left. He's gonna run away from it inside zone. There it is again. Gurley gets loose and picks up the first down at the 36. I'm really surprised Kiv checked out of his main defense so soon. I feel like he needs to go back to it, but he feels like Nickel Normal might be the answer for this offense. Last year's Runs overall to the nickel side that time. Kiv. I'm not going to question what he's doing, but there's a, another big run to the 43. Maybe that'll get him out of that, that defense and back to the what he normally runs. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I really do feel like he checked out of his main defense too soon, but like I said, I'm not in this tournament they are, so let's see what happens. I, I believe he's back in the over G here, Skip. Yep, right back in it. Yeah, he's, he, he's going to go back to the cross man with the cloud flats on the outside here. It's a cover zero type look. And there's the heat. He just gets so much more pressure out of that formation. Oh, yeah. Every time young kid goes to that defense, he just seems to get a stop. You got to think he's just mixing it up so T. Davis doesn't get keen to it so he can mix it in when he really needs it. Now he's back in the nickel normal. Oh, I just don't agree with this. This time he might send some heat off of that right edge. You got to watch that slot DB. Over the question on the is, will T. Davis Here run he No, he'll go to the air. There's the playmaker up, but he's going to use his legs. Oh, that is so a first down. God, that Vic is so fast. He's scary. And I will let you know, T. Davis's Vic <laughs> is the 94 OVR, and he only has conductor, so it's still a very good Michael Vic, but not one that's on the level of the Mike Vic item that young kid's using. There you go, Kiv. And plus, I'm a pro tip back home. You man up these guys, and it's good run defense. First and 10. And there goes Vic again. And that should be a first down. Second and in inches. Forgot we're playing John Madden football. It's always inches. Oh, always. But this opens up the playbook right here. Of course, when you slide, and that was an awkward slide, it's where you give yourself up, not where the ball ends up once you finish your slide. So they mark him just shy at the 18. He'll go to the air. Might as well get the first down, he will. Oh, if T. Davis was a little patient, Kiv was coming down to stop him. He had the pose. Great defense by Kiv, though. Was playing the cat and mouse game, all that good stuff. Oh, man, what a play. Here's the thing, Skim. You feel T. Davis, is this four-down territory for him, or would you consider taking the field goal if the situation comes up, even if it doesn't get you the lead? It just depends if you have that money play down here. Me, me personally, at this point of my Madden this year, I don't have it. I'm kicking three. Well, we're not there quite yet. Eagle, eagle. This is one of those situations you never know. Is this a 3-4 defense? He'll hand it off, and nice run stop there at the 10 by Young Kill. They're trying to figure out who's going to be facing strafing. That man on the left for the Vikings, Trinius. <laughs> Got his bandana on. That's not a headband. That's a bandana there for Trini. Kev back in his 4-3 odd. He's bounced around between nickel, nickel over G, and a little 4-3. This is the heat. 
If you want to stop the hitches and the curls high points, get to the quarterback before he can throw it. Look at that again. You can see he just coming off the edge. Right off of the edge. And the reason they like this multiple defense with that 4-3 odd is they can get safeties subbed into the linebacker. It's the only playbook that allows you to get safeties at that linebacker within that 4-3 personnel. Huge play here. Trailing by four with 30 seconds to go in the third. Kim's back in the nickel. This is dangerous for T. Davis. You don't want to throw a pick right here. And Vic got oh, room. shakes one. Oh, you got to be careful. Boy. How many times have you seen a fumble on a run like that after you get caught up? Oh, a lot. And right here, if you're T. Davis, you want to kick this field goal quick because you're down one. You want to use that fourth quarter to stop time to give you a chance so young Kiff cannot clock you out of this game. Well, he needs a good kickoff here. We've yet to see it. He's kicked it out of bounds. He's given Kiff great field position. And this time he'll kick it deep. I agree with you too, Mike. Getting that field goal off before the end of that third quarter is big because he's going to get a free clock stoppage at the end of this eight seconds. And when you're going up against young Kiv, who has the ability to move the chains, every second is going to count, especially when you're down points. Quick throw on the wheel. Good dot. That'll take us to the fourth quarter. It's the final game of the day. Put your fours up. These guys are out here battling. In a one-point ball game, Young Kim 14, T. Davis 13. Just day two of four. Tomorrow is going to be bananas. We get started at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Dreamian goes. We'll play in the second hour tomorrow. That's all you need to know. And oh, no, won't get away. Oh, my gosh. Quarterback meet Tay Sweet. Third and 23, but I'll say this. Watch this click on so he can't get rid of it. Aga, you're right. That's a huge a sack, Skim. Way to pick that up right there. I'll say this. If anyone has a dot right here, it's Young Kiff. <laughs> and he's 23, though. Got to get out to the 35-yard line. Vic. Kiv. He hung on. It's fourth and manageable. Here we go. Is he going to go for it or punt? Big decision with six yards to go. Oh. Got, got to go for it. You know young Kiv's going for this one. He didn't even blink. Dang, what a hang on. Who was that, Tyreek? I need Donnie Moore. Robert? I need Holden to give me punt stats. Eagle, Eagle. We haven't seen a lot of those from Kiv. He's going for it. This is Fourth huge. and six. This is huge, boys. Kiv looking. The They're That's going to throw it. Picked oh, off. Yeah. He, did he Willie click on on the spy? I think the spy just made Willie the play. Clark Jr. <laughs> Clark Jr. Who? Let's watch this. Did Look he at the spy. I think the spy just on. makes I the play. Click. No, the spy just makes the play. There's wow. no user pick banner yep. on. There's yep. no user pick banner. Frank Clark Jr. though makes a play for him. Oh my gosh! These spies in this tournament have made plays. <laughs> Look at the reaction. Well, you think the rest of the guys are happy they might not have to deal with Young Kiv? We're gonna, real quick guys, we're gonna see the game from Young Kiv's perspective on defense so we can take a look at some of that play art that Mike's been calling out. Here he is in the two shell. Oh, he's getting really aggressive, sending the heat. Second and nine. You have to get aggressive with Young, young Kiv in this situation. All those red lines mean those guys are coming. If anyone can clutch up right here with the stop, it's Young Kiv. D. Davis. The pocket. That's going to pick up the first down. It, it seems like any time Kiv switches up the deep end and defense and goes away from that man-to-man -man hybrid zone coverage, T. Davis is having a ton of success. You got to wonder if Kiv's going to go back to it, and I think he will as you see him in the over-G formation right here, Mike. I think he should. He's had his most success. But if you're T. Davis, you got to get a touchdown here. You can't kick a three because all Kiv has to do is go down the field and get in field goal range, and he wins the game. He's got to get rid of this quick here, too. He's got a lot of pressure coming out of this formation. First and 10 at the 22, just outside the red zone. Hands it off to Gurley, and Gurley goes nowhere. What? It, did you see young Kiv's responsibilities? He had to guard the slot wide receiver until he could pass him off to the cloud flats, but then had the anticipation to read run, shoot the gap, seal the edge, and make a phenomenal tackle. That's doing a lot of work. That's you relying a lot on your user defender right there. Kiv's up to the task. 
Again, he's going to have to guard that slot receiver himself. You see, there's no man coverage on to him. Second and 11. Julio Jones. Play clock running down. T. Davis will throw. Gets away from one. Still on his feet. Oh, if you're T. Davis, you want to hurry up. You've got to snap this ball before the two-minute warning. He's going to bring up a third and five, RG. Oh, I think he's going to do the opposite. I guess this is it. This, he feels that this is it right here. Wow. This is bananas, boys. <laughs> I guess he wants his stamina back. 20 grand's at stake right here. Two minutes to go. Winner will move on to the round of eight. He'll face Ivy Strafen, who's representing the Minnesota Vikings. This play is going to determine if the drive's alive or he needs to settle for three. This is a huge play right here, boys. To the air goes for the tight end. Slant! And first down. Kip calls a timeout. Two remaining. The good news for Kiv right here is even if T. Davis scores, it's still a one possession ball game, and T. Davis can no longer get any first downs to milk that clock. Kiv pretty much ensuring himself that he'll have the ball back with a chance on the guap drive. Boy, what a comeback story for T. Davis, overcoming so much to get back into the game of Madden. And he's 154 away. From maybe moving on, he hands it off to Gurley, who gets all the way down to the five. Still trailing by one, though. Second and goal. As RG said, Kiv ensures he's going to get the ball back. If you're T. Davis, do you run the ball every time and take your three and rely on your defense with probably about a minute ten left to come through? I probably wouldn't with how good Kiv's offense is. I'm going for seven, probably passing the ball. Not only going for seven, I'm, I'm probably going for eight so I can make it a touchdown ball game if I score. Looks like eight speed draw. There's the delay. It's not wrong, it's close! No. Third down, this is gonna be huge right here because if Kiv stops him, he's really gonna have to consider kicking the field goal. You're gonna have to kick the field goal. Oh my goodness, this is a big play, boys. And I said this earlier, if anyone has defense for sneak, fullback dive, or toss defense, <laughs> it's young Kiv. We know them 818 boys know something about holding the door. He he go to the outside and T. Hold the door! Hold the door! Go for it! Go for it! What do you do? Go for it. What, do you do? what do you gotta do here? Is saying go for it, I think. Boy, look how fast he gets out here. A whiffed block by Shannon Sharp. Ole. <laughs> drag. I think Drag thought it was a touchdown. There in that Packers uniform. I, I feel like that's part of the initiation. You don't get in the 818 crew unless you can hold the door on the goal line for obvious reasons. What's going on? He's he's going to kick a field goal here. That's what's going on, and wow. we got a two-point game. It comes down to this. Young Kib with the ball. No timeouts on the guap drive. <laughs> Only needs to get in field goal range against the secondary that you loaded up on. If you're T. Davis. Uh oh, it and here comes Tyreek Hill. He's oh, he's got roll! Oh, good click on tackle. Oh, he, T. Davis is so fortunate that he stopped him at that 25-yard line. It looked like the blocks were holding, and Reek was about to get busy. But if you're T. Davis, you'll take the 25 all day right there. This is really interesting. I wonder if T. Davis is going to stick in his coverage defense or he's going to start sending heat so he doesn't have any time for big plays. His kicker is Dan Bailey, 79 overall. He's probably got to get to the 33-yard line, and Sharp will get out of bounds. Oh, dear T. Davis, this has to be so scary. You're not going up against any player. You're going up against the prolific and clutch young Kiv, and you got to keep him out of field goal range. You got to play the defense of your life right now if you're Tyler. We're standing up. The players' lounge is standing up. He's going for it. Oh, he's going he's he has it. Tyler Davis from Lynn, Massachusetts has done it. He says he's back. He's saying not one person picked me. Oh Don't disrespect God. me and I'm back. Boy, he was looking at the players' lounge too, talking to him. Hey, 
as he should feel disrespected. When I came onto the scene, this was the guy. This is who I actually looked up to, and he's showing why he can do this. Oh. Look at the reaction here. Look at that reaction. <laughs> One more oh. look from another angle. <laughs> Goes and drag. Joke is feeling it. The rest of the crew. I'll be honest. If you're Kiv, you're sick. You had him open. You spent all this cap on this Vic, and in the biggest throw, he under throws it for you. Wow. 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 T. Davis. He's going to be joining us here at the desk at the final game of the day. Young Kiv, the defending overall Madden 18 champion. Won it at the Pro Bowl in Dallas last year. His journey is ending right here in our second major of the year. It's T. Davis. He's wearing that Pat Pete. Clutching up, get in here, pound it one time. We got to hear about this game. Lining up, we'll get them headsets on in a big, big game. And whoo, final game of the day. That was one way to end it, boys. And now T. Davis joins us, and at the end of the game, you're saying no one respect us. I knew you were a sleeper, but you're a little bit better than that. <clears throat> well, Skimbo knows, man. I've been doing this a long time. When Skimbo came into the game, I was one of the top, and they didn't have these big tournaments then. RG knows, and I feel like I never got my due, my you know, my respect I deserve truly. Um, I was I was running these underground tournaments with guys like Mo and Bugs and all these guys, and I feel like I never got my just due, and now I get to shine on the big stage. Bugs never heard of him. <laughs> um, I just got to know, how are you feeling, Tyler? You've fought through so much adversity. It's been a long road. After a big game like that, the number one player in the world, just tell me where are you on an emotional level right now? Uh, my heart's racing right now, um, you know. <laughs> But I, I've been through a lot, so and I wanted to get back to the stage. Like I told you on the phone last night, you know, yeah. I, I've been waiting for this moment, and here I am. Wow. Before I ask you about these interceptions, I'm not going to lie to you, T. Davis. I'm about to cry for you here. <laughs> when I came into the community, you were like my best friend. I looked yeah. up to you, all that stuff. I wanted to be like you. We used to talk about wearing snapbacks and all that <laughs> stuff. So seeing you have this moment, man, it means yeah. everything to me. It I really does. That, Mike, really yeah, does. yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about your defense this game? You had a couple key interceptions. I really felt good about my defense. Uh, I did something Kiv probably hasn't seen really. Um, I've been running a lot. You know, I play well, I play Ghost all the time. He runs a bunch, and you know he kind of whoops me. But <laughs> um, but I, I ran a lot of match concepts, and uh, I just mix it up coverages, try to give him trouble. You what know? happened right there on that click on? I had a deep quarter outside, and just, just made a heck of yeah, a play. Just made a play, I clicked on, try to make a play. Yeah, it was a one-point ball game here with four minutes to go in this game. T. Davis oh, said, huge. hey, what about the spy, Clark Jr.? <laughs> you remember when I came yesterday and I, said, I told you how I got on my D-line, Willie Clark Jr.? Yep. 12 cap, and he makes the biggest play. <laughs> yeah, I remember when you told yeah. me that, you started screaming his Willie name. Willie Clark Jr., baby, 6'6", 280. 12 He's cap. Beast. To put that in perspective, too, the lowest cap you can spend on somebody is 10. So fair to say that's a budget player. How'd you feel? Wow. I mean, he had wow. you over the top, and Vic just couldn't yeah. get it there. I mean, what was going through your head when he threw that ball in the air? I mean, he was so far back, I didn't think he could reach him. But I was kind of nervous because Ramsey, you know, I was like, you got to get there. Jeez. Well, you can start thinking about your next opponent, I.B. Strafen. I mean, you... You're going through a gauntlet here. This is what the club championship's all about. What can you tell us about <coughs> IB Strafe? Oh, me and Ryan are like best friends. We talk every day. We play all the time. You know, me and Ryan are good friends, and we play all the time. So it should be a good matchup. I'm looking forward to it. You know, no one else would really play to get to the Final Four. Hey, you talk to me about your pops. Back home has supported you from the beginning. I can relate. My uncle was the one that took me all to all of these tournaments. For him to go through that journey with you and for you to be back, is there anything you want to say to Papa T. Davis right now? <laughs> My dad's watching. watching right now. You know, he got me into Madden, and he used to travel with me all over the country to every tournament when I was young. I see all these young kids, and I was like them, and my dad would come with me. And So, yeah, it's been a long journey, and my mom and dad are watching, my brother. So all my friends back home, glad you guys are watching. Well, let's take a look at the most satisfying plays of the day presented by